Praise the Lord, my beloved ones. Today, our beautiful, most amazing Lord God Jesus Christ has come to bless us with another beautiful seven fresh prophecies for the month of October, the month to surprise you in this year 2024, and you shall be blessed indeed. So here I am to bless you with the prophecies for this month. And we have already seen the nine prophecies to surprise you in this month of October. And now we have seven more fresh and renewed ones. So when the Lord was speaking and revealing the prophecies, his plans, his will for this month, for his people, for his children all over the world, I wrote them all because it is so amazing and beautiful to know how the Lord God wants to bless his kingdom, his kingdom children. Hallelujah. So the first prophecy the Lord said is recognition. Yes, we always thirst for recognition. You want to be recognized in your family, around in your workplace, all over the world, in your country, in your area, amongst the people, and it never happens. What you always received is the notorious fame, the notorious fame, where they either said evil about you, there were rumors, there were false accusations. It was the evil fame. But now the Lord God says that you shall be recognized. You, your family, your name, your job, your business, your ministry will be recognized. Hallelujah. The second prophecy for this month is October is the month of mighty happenings mighty happenings, big manifestations. And you said, Lord, how long will I be in the eeny, meeny, tiny, miny life? You wanted this big manifestations. And the Lord God says, indeed, mighty happenings will take place this month. The third wonderful prophecy is this, that your increased faith shall bear fruits. Hallelujah. Glory be to God alone. Because you knew that the Lord God has been working upon your faith and for the renewal of your faith so that you will move from faith to faith. But there is some reason for that. The reason is this, that now you will bear fruits for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. The fourth prophecy is this. Big miracles are happening. So this month, God is big. God is already big, but he will be big in manifestation. You will know how big he is. And it has never happened earlier. So this is for the first time you will see the big manifestations and you will say, indeed, yes, Lord God, you are big. The fifth prophecy, it says your faith was tested in the big and you have made God big. So big things will happen. Yes, you were asked to do big things, big faith steps, big doings in Christ because the Lord tested you very well. You were put into testing and it was in small terms, in small things in small areas, but there was a big testing. And you said, Lord, yes, Lord, I am ready for this as well. And there the faith was tested. And now the Lord God says that it is a reason. There is a reason behind this. Some reason behind this testing where you were asked to do something or some task which was bigger than your own Limitations. So the Lord God said, extend your own territory and you obeyed the Lord. You fulfilled the will of the Lord in obedience, extended your own territory. And now the Lord God says, because of that, you will also see God manifesting big in your life. So always it is first the faith. And before faith, you must always be faithful to the Lord. So first you must be faithful, then your faith will be tested. Because if you have a faithful heart, you will be ready for the faith, your faith to be tested. And once it's done, when you are all together termed and you are acknowledged by God that, yes, my child is now faithful. My child knows how to remain in faith. The faith that is persistent and is big. When you are in this realm of the spirit, you will also see big happenings and big manifestations. Hallelujah. Big things will happen. Big glory will manifest. Hallelujah. Sixth prophecy is so winning of successful people will take place like politicians, actors, mall owners, big businesses owners, and even your boss, the company boss, the vice president, the president of your 
company of your organization. If you are working in uh, an organization, the topmost owner or the CEO, the topmost manager, or those people who are successful, they will come to the Lord, give their life to the Lord. There will be the soul winning. And that's how the Lord God is big. He is indeed big God. He's going to increase your level. Hallelujah. Seventh prophecy is God's grace shall be increased to much greater level. And everything that you feared, your mistakes shall be covered this month. Indeed, when you have faith, your mistakes are covered because your faith pleases the Lord. Is there anything else that pleases the Lord? The word of God says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Do whatever you want if you are not doing it in faith, in godliness, in humbleness, in holiness. Because faith given to you is holy. If you are not maintaining that, if it is not persistent, and if the level given to you, if you are not the doers in Christ in that level, then it will not happen. But if you have done it, the level of faith, the increased faith, if you have obeyed the Lord in the increased faith, now the Lord God says that grace is also needed. For that level of faith, that level of grace will also come upon you. Hallelujah. And with this, when great grace comes, when greater grace comes, when greatest grace comes, your mistakes will be covered and you will be blessed because when you have faith, you will know that you have repented also. You have shown faith. Instead of fearing, you have shown faith and you have taken the faith step. You are the doers in Christ in the big. So when you are big, your God is obviously big and the grace is also big. Hallelujah. I pray that the Lord God has done testing your faith and according to the level of faith, this prophecy shall be fulfilled. Hallelujah. Glory be to God alone. Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. We thank all those who are honoring the Lord with their wealth. And for all the offerings, we bless you with a hundredfold of return. My beloved ones, if you have not yet received our Lord God Jesus Christ, if you have not yet received the Holy Spirit, we shall pray a small prayer because this repentance is at hand. Our Father in heaven, we come into your presence through our Lord Jesus Christ. And today we receive salvation. We receive Holy Spirit into our heart. Oh Lord, forgive us our sins and help us to be born again. We shall seek you, O Lord Jesus Christ, unto Zion. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. My beloved ones, with this small prayer of repentance, your sins are forgiven and you have received Holy Spirit within you. You shall walk the walk of righteousness.